May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from harm. May all beings love life. May all beings awaken. Welcome to another Cuke Audio mini podcast. I pray that you and yours are safe and comfortable, free from economic hardship and able to get out and do whatever it is you want within the limitations of the universal precept of do as little harm as possible. So today uh, we have uh, another Shunyu Suzuki uh, lecture uh, excerpt both uh, uh, audio excerpt, and and I will uh, read it first. Uh, This is the one that was used uh, at the end of Chapter 13 of Crooked Cucumber, the audio book for Crooked Cucumber, The Life and Sin Teaching of Shinju Suzuki. And you know, there's no, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's only him speaking. Uh, and then if you go on uh, uh, the page for the audio book, which is uh, com forward slash cc21, uh, you can see the these transcripts. And that's what I'm reading. I'm reading it from there. Uh, it's a link called sr-audio. Well, I don't know what the link is called. That's what the file is called. No, it says uh, transcripts for, you know, uh, audio clips from uh, Junior Suzuki lecture. It's no, it's not that long. I don't know what it says. You can tell it's prominent. So, um, okay. So here we go. We must settle ourselves on ourselves, as Katagiri Sensei says. To settle oneself on oneself, you know, that is a very important point. How you do it is to be yourself on each moment. Whatever you do, you must do it. You know, you shouldn't expect someone's help. You should protect yourself and you should grow upright to the sky. We must settle ourselves on ourselves. As Katangi Sensei says, to settle oneself on oneself. That is very important point. How you do it is to be yourself on each moment. Whatever you do, you must do it. You, know. you shouldn't expect someone's uh, help. You should protect yourself and you should grow upright to the sky. Okay, so that's the clip I used there. Now, um, uh, there are people, of course, who will say, what's this settle the self on the self? I thought uh, Buddhism rejected the idea of self. Mm, Yes, that's true. Uh, uh, But, you know, Shinyu Suzuki was just all over the place. I mean, Buddhism rejects the idea of absolute permanent self, you know? Are there being any substance to a self? Are there being a self that continues from instant to instant? So this self that he's talking about can only be a relative self or a sense we have of self. Um, and um, Or uh, if you look at it from Advaita Vedanta, or as they say here, Advaita Vedanta. Advaita Vedanta. Yeah, I guess. Point of view. Um, yeah, V is uh, uh, not pronounced V in many places in the world, including in, in places in Europe. Nils Holm, my uh, dear friend and uh, uh, inspiring Zen student and seeker of truth, was from Denmark, and he would say, the Vikings. <laughs> so, uh, and here it's, um, we had a landlady named Widya, but we have a friend in, in um, good friends, engaged Buddhists in uh, uh, Kuala Lumpur, and uh, the husband of the family is Vidya. Um, same word. Uh, just, 
And I don't know. Uh, that might be his pronunciation. I didn't go around and test people there to see if they'd say Vidya or Widya. I would imagine they'd say Widya. And Vidya is pretty international guy. So, uh, uh, and probably in Sanskrit, they pronounce the V as we do. I don't know. Um, so, um, anyway, but, uh, this is, uh, food for thought. Well, if there's, oh, oh, I was going to say, uh, as they say in Advaita Vedanta, um, it's that sense of I am, that sense of self in Advaita Vedanta that, uh, is the absolute. And so they're really into asking, who am I? Are you, you know, it's the same thing as saying, what is this sense of self I have? Uh, and maybe uh, we could say it is it is the big self, uh, which Buddhism also rejected the idea of the big self, the Atman and the Anatman. You know, Atman was the self and Anatman was no self. But again, that's just in terms of absolute uh Nothing permanent there. Uh, it doesn't mean you can't use the word self. I mean, if you want to be strict, then you shouldn't use the word I or me. Uh, so anyway, I could go on and on. But um, I would say uh, that um, for people who are very strict and don't want the word self like that, uh, and they're, they're really absolute about it, um, Forget about Shunyu Suzuki, because <laughs> uh, uh, he's on both sides of things. I don't mean he's on the side of believing in a permanent self. I mean, he's on the side of using the word self. And then sometimes he'd say, the silly self, or there is no self. Or something it's for us to figure out. It doesn't matter what he said, really. I mean, we can listen to what he said, but it's for each of us to decide for ourselves and you know deciding for ourselves what does that mean to get some belief system or some uh, intellectual construct mm, nah that won't help either it it has to be direct experience of what this word self and no self and there's no permanent self all that stuff who am i etc <laughs> what is it really who am i uh and if you don't want to ask who am i uh yeah just eliminate it and, uh, you know, do whatever <laughs> other practice you're doing. All right. Uh, it's sort of endless, isn't it? Um, yeah. That's why he wouldn't, you know, when he was on both sides, he wasn't doing what I'm doing, is trying to explain it and make excuses for it. He'd just be there, you know? And then later he'd be on another side. And you're supposed to figure it out. that The sixth patriarch said, told his disciples when he was dying, he said, that it's very simple to teach. <laughs> Just, there's, you know, there's pairs of opposites. And when your disciple is on one side, you just get on the other. And, uh, you know, drive him crazy that way. And, uh, <laughs> all right. So um, now you can hear uh, Shinya Suzuki uh, saying this again. Uh, and, and we'll... Uh, conclude the podcast uh, and but first I will read it again we must settle ourselves on ourselves as Katagiri Sensei says to settle oneself on oneself you know that is a very important point how do you do it is to be yourself on each moment whatever you do you must do it you know you shouldn't expect someone's help you should protect yourself and you should grow upright to the sky. We must settle ourselves on ourselves, as Katangi Sensei says. To settle oneself on oneself. You know, that is a very important point. How you do it, it's to be yourself on each moment. Whatever you do, you must do it, you know. You shouldn't expect someone's uh, help. You should protect yourself 
and you should grow upright to the sky. This has been a Cuke Audio Mini Podcast. I'm D.C. Puba of Cuke Audio and Cuke Archives, coming to you from Sleepy Sonora with Doggy Bandita, Feline Cuchita, and dear lovely Katrinka. And we're wishing you, and yours, and all of us, a grand awakening.